Hi guys, how are you? This is Sharik and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. As usual, this is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson. When I say Lebanese, you know by now, whoever watches the lessons that I put here, it falls under the category of the Levantine dialect. Levantine and is a dialect spoken in Lebanon, Jordan, Palestine and Syria. And, and the Lebanese dialect falls under the same category and um, so if you choose to uh, learn Lebanese Arabic spoken Lebanese Arabic you will be very well understood in this region particularly like because it's almost the same of course with some differences but also the Levantine dialect is a widely spoken language in the Arab world in general so if you want to learn spoken Arabic choosing the Levantine dialect I believe is a good option uh, I chose today to do a lesson with you that uh, uh, that like literally two sentences. They, it looks big because I just uh, used the big font. Two or three sentences about two people talking about lunch and canceling lunch. Okay. Uh, by the time more people sign in, I want to let you know uh, that uh, it's important to do the lessons on YouTube, of course. But if you are looking to learn Arabic in a structured way with a roadmap, I recommend doing uh, my 30 day challenge courses. I have two types of 30 day challenge courses, one live on Zoom. Uh, but recently I've been moving slowly to the pre-recorded 30 day challenge courses because it gives you the flexibility to do the challenge, but uh, at any uh, time of the day that is good for you. Um, so there are levels from absolute beginners, uh, I still don't have the pre-recorded advanced, but there's the absolute beginners, beginners, general one, general two, and the general three courses. So if you want to learn spoken Arabic, specifically Levantine or Lebanese Arabic, with a lot of structure, things that explain to you from A to Z, and with a nice roadmap that leads you from one point to another, I recommend these courses for you. And let me check if anyone is here before we, I begin. Yes, already some people are in. Hi to whoever joined. So, yalla, let's begin. I'm going to read uh, with a normal speed to begin with. Just give me a sign if the sound is good. Uh, I'm going to read with normal speed and then I can break it down. Okay? Yalla, let's begin. That's the title. هيدا العنوان. عم بتلفن ليك لأقل ليك أنه ما رح أقدر إجي اتغدى عندك بكرة. ليش؟ جد علي شي كتير ضروري بالشغل بقى لازم انزل بكرة الصبح بكير على المكتب لحل المشكلة يي كنا حابينك تكوني معنا يلا بسيطة خيرة بغيرة ايه اكيد بركي منلتقي جمعة الجاي بحكيكي اصلا بكرة بس خل الشغل يمكن اذا خلصت بكير بمرق عليكن طيب يلا باي اوكي was it a bit scary and fast Let's break it down until you become capable of doing it in this way. As I always say, I'm gonna use the Arabic script. Whoever doesn't know the Arabic script, you have the option of looking uh, on the left-hand side of the page. But I really, really recommend, even if your goal is to just speak, I really recommend you learn the Arabic script. Firstly, it makes you more fluent with time. And then if you become more advanced, you will be stuck somewhere. You will need books, references, material. And then in that case, there will be a gap in your learning. And it's so easy to learn reading and writing, much easier than people imagine. Within two weeks, you can finish all the letters. Within one month, you can learn to read. And within two months, you can read fairly enough fast. Okay? Yala, I'm speaking a lot. Yala, let's begin. So, ma rah eqdar eje. Ma, yala, say out loud with me, okay? Don't just listen. Ma rah eqdar eje. Usually, if I want to say I can, you can, or I am able to, I say Ana بقدر, بقدر. Some people say بقدر. It's the same. بقدر. Okay? But here, because it's the future tense, I'm not saying ما رح بقدر. We have to drop the B. And when you drop the B, if the infinitive root had an alif, it comes back. If not, we don't add an alif. So here, I didn't actually add an alif. The alif was in the infinitive root. اقدر. So you drop the B. 
because there is rah, it's the future. After rah, we don't say b bi'dar, we have to drop the b. So ma rah i'dar, I won't be able to. Ma rah i'dar, yalla say out loud with me. Ma rah i'dar ije. Again, if I want to say I come, you come, he comes, I usually say bije with a b. Bije. Again, here I had to drop the b. Why? Whoever knows, write it down. I'm going to say it, but write it down. So it's a verb, fa'il, followed by another verb. So you have to drop the b. You can't say marah bi'dar bije. No, you have to say marah i'dar ije. I won't be able to come. So in English, you say, I won't be able to come. He won't be able to come. She won't be able to come. You don't conjugate to come, to come, to come. In Arabic, you're conjugating it. You're saying basically, I won't be able to I come. He, you won't be able to you come. He won't be able to he comes. So you have to conjugate it, okay? So that's why here I said ije, I come. So marah i'dar ije. I won't be able to come. Here's Here comes another verb. You have three verbs in a row, which means again, I will not say as I always say, bitgadda, I have lunch. You have to drop the b, and you have to say itgadda. Notice? Because we have a verb. Any so when do we drop the b? In this lesson, you, I, I already gave you two tips. When do we drop the b? I'm not going to tell you. Who will tell me? Yalla, write it down. Just in the title, already you have two tips that are very, very essential and important. What is the first tip? And what is the second tip? When do we drop the b? Number one. And when do we drop the b? Number two. Yalla, who will tell me? I'm going to wait for you to say it. Hi, Jorjito. Hi, Zain. Yalla, I'm waiting for you to say it. When do we drop the b? I'm not saying it, even if YouTube gives me five minutes. Shoo. Should I wait? <laughs> it's just four people, so some one of you should tell me. Yeah, when it's followed by a verb, very good. And also, not when, when it's followed by a verb, and also when it's the future tense, after rah, after, you drop the b. Very good. Okay? So, ما رح اقدر اجي اتغدى عندك بكرة عندك يعني at yours feminine او عندك in the masculine form بكرة يعني tomorrow ما رح اقدر اجي اتغدى عندك بكرة and if it's a guy you say ما رح اقدر اجي اتغدى عندك بكرة Okay? So, يلا let's read slowly the first sentence عم تلفن لك لإلك إنه ما رح أقدر إجي أتغدى عندك بكرة عم تلفنك عم تلفنك يعني I am calling you so we took the word telephone and we made it a verb in Arabic تلفن so أنا بتلفن you see there is a be there after عم we don't need to drop the be you can keep it, keep it. so عم بتلفن I am calling عم ت... Okay, here I made a mistake by the way. It has, it has, it's not عم تلفلنك. You see, I can be, sometimes I can be, uh, what do you say? Um, what's the word? Dyslexic. So, عم تلفلنك. So, in Arabic, you call for someone. That's why you said لك. لك means for you. So, I call for you. عم تلفلنك. يعني I am calling you. But in Arabic, you are saying I am calling for you. عم تلفلنك. لا إلك. لا إلك to tell you. لا means so that or in order to. In order to tell you or to tell you. إلك. Let's break إلك down. Usually it's Anna. Okay, a lot of details in this lesson. Okay, say them out loud. Write them. Uh, write down the rules as well. So usually it's Anna. Bool. Okay, Anna Bool. I say Anna Bool. But if you want to say I say to you, I tell you, you have to say in Arabic again. I say for you. Anna Bool plus lik or lak. Okay. Step number one. Got it. Anna Bool plus lik. Now, I'm not going to say أنا بقول لك No, أنا بقول لك What we do is we drop this U It becomes أنا بقل أنا بقل Plus لك And what we do is we merge these two lambs Into one lamb with a shadda That's why you have here بقل لك أنا بقل لك بقل لك 
I tell you. أنا بقول لك. Got it? That's step number one. Step number two. عم بتلفن لك and then لا I'm not gonna say بقول لك. Here's another tip. After لا which means to or in order to or so that we also drop the b. So I'm not gonna say لا بقول لك. I'm gonna say لا إلك. So we dropped the b. Got it? So three tips. We dropped the b whenever we used رح. Whenever the verb was followed by another verb. And here, whenever the verb is followed by the لا. By the way, لا or تا have exactly the same meaning. تا إلك or لا إلك would be the same thing. And also لا إلك. Sorry, it's a calf. Okay. تا إلك. Okay. So عم تلفنك تا إلك or عم ترفنك لا إلك are exactly the same thing. And remember, to drop what? We need to drop the ب after the لام. عم تلفنك لا إلك. I'm calling you to tell you. عم تلفنك لا إلك إنه that ما رح أقدر. I won't be able to. We said that. ما رح أقدر إجي. I won't be able to come. ما رح أقدر إجي اتغدى. I won't be able to come have lunch. عندك at yours بكرة. Tomorrow. Okay? يلا, let's say the sentence one more time. Say out loud with me, guys. عم تلفنك لا إلك إنه ما رح أقدر. You can say it faster. ما رح أقدر إجي اتغدى عندك بكرة. And the other person goes, ليش? Why? ليش? This is a nice phrase to memorize. جد علي شي كتير ضروري. يلا memorize it with me. Let's say it two, three times. جد علي شي كتير ضروري. جد علي جد علي شي كتير ضروري. And you will always almost pronounce it with the liaison as جد علي. There is a شدة here. جد علي شي كتير ضروري. يعني something came up. Something very important came up. بس جد علي. Where does جد come from? It comes from جديد. جديد means new. جد علي. يعني something new. As if, as if in English you are saying something nude on me. <laughs> Which means something new came up to me. Okay? علي. خلص. Memorize it. جد علي شي. Something came up. Okay? جد علي شي. Or you can say جد علي جد. With a ش... فتحة on the جين. جي... Not ج... جد with a كسرة. That would be grand... grandfather. If you say جد, that's grandfather. If you say جد, that's uh, something new came up. Okay? يلا memorize the phrase. جد علي شي كتير ضروري بالشغل. Something very important. In the work. بالشغل. That's how you say at work. Okay? Something very important at work came up. جد علي شي كتير ضروري بالشغل. بقى. You see how I'm saying the بقى as long? I not say بقى. I say بقى. Like you know when you're collecting your thoughts and you're saying so and you're thinking. That kind of so. Okay? بقى لازم انزل بكرة. لازم انزل. Notice again here, I didn't say بنزل. I said لازم انزل. I dropped the B. I wasn't expecting this lesson to be all about dropping the B. It's a good thing. You will learn it. So لازم انزل. After لازم, we have to always drop the B. Okay? لازم انزل. Not لازم بنزل. لازم انزل بكرة. Tomorrow. بكرة الصبح. Tomorrow morning. بكير. Early. لازم انزل بكرة الصبح بكير. I have to go down tomorrow morning early. And why do we use انزل? I can say لازم روح. I have to go. But we tend to use a lot انزل اطلع in Lebanon. انزل to go down. اطلع to go up. Maybe because it's a mountainous country and we got used to saying I go down to Beirut, I go up to the mountain or something. Okay? So لازم انزل or لازم روح بكرة الصبح بكير. على المكتب to the office على المكتب okay so it's why is the a it's because it's لازم انزل you have to memorize it with the preposition على or a a of you might know is the abbreviation لازم انزل 
على المكتب to the office لحل المشكلة حل is حل with a كسرة and a شدة حل is a verb is I solve لا حل so I solve or in order to solve or to solve in, in Arabic as if you are saying to I solve so that I solve basically لا حل المشكلة to solve the problem to I solve the problem did you notice something here as well after the la? La hil il mishkli. Who noticed something here after the la la hil il mishkli? What did I do again and again and again like I'm doing in this lesson? By the way, hil is the verb to solve. Hal with a fatha is a solution. Hal. I'm not gonna give you the answer. What did I do here with la hil? Who wants to tell me? Hmm? Yalla, tell me, what did I say? La and hil, la hil. What did I do? Show. Yalla, I'll wait. I'm not gonna tell you. What do we do after la or ta, which means so that or to or in order to? Hmm? Yalla, I'll wait. YouTube takes a minute. Yalla, matsaudu wajji. Somebody say it. <laughs> yes, to I solve. Okay, but yes, but why did I not say la bhil? Because usually, uh, yes, we remove the b. Very good. Because usually. If you want to say I solve, you have to say ana bhil in the present tense with a b. But when I put the la, which means to solve or in order to or so that, we have to drop the b. And here I said la hil. And I didn't say la ihil or anything like that because the infinitive root doesn't have an alif. It comes back. You can't know unless you know the verb. So when it comes to the infinitive roots, guys, you have to memorize them. You know, you can't guess if there's an alif or not unless you know the verb, okay? So, let's repeat the sentence. Say it out loud, guys, okay? So, جد علي شي كتير ضروري بالشغل بقى لازم انزل بكرة الصبح بكير عالمكتب لحل المشكلة So, I have to go down early in the morning tomorrow to the office to solve the problem. Yee, that Lebanese typical yee is like you Allah. Oh no, that kind of no. Okay, yee. Yani you're not happy with that thing that's happening. Okay, yee. Yalla. Here's another sentence to memorize. Really nice sentence to say to someone, whenever they reject an invitation, or they didn't come to your party. Kinna hebinik tkune maana. Yalla. I will say it twice. Say it twice with me so that you memorize it. كنا حابينك تكوني معنا Okay Now حابين As a participle اسم فاعل حابين يعني uh, Literally The people who like The people who love The likers The lovers Okay كنا حابين كنا يعني we were كنا حابين Literally we were the likers Or we were the people who like Or we were the lovers it has nothing to do with that. You are saying, we would have liked. Okay? And now, kinna habinik. The ik is you feminine. We would have liked you feminine. Okay? If it's a guy, you say, kinna habinak. We would have liked you masculine. Okay? So, kinna habinik. Tkune. You feminine be. Tkune. Ma'ana with us. So memorize it as a phrase. Kinna habinik tkune ma'ana. We would have liked you to be with us. Okay? In the masculine form, kinna habinak tkun, of course, because tkune is feminine, you remove the a, it becomes tkun. Kinna habinak tkun 
معنا. We would have liked you to be with us. You know what, guys? I thought this lesson is going to be more or less for beginners. But now I'm discovering more and more that actually it's quite an advanced lesson. Okay? So it's a nice lesson to everyone. So, كنا حبينك تكون معنا. كنا حبينك تكوني معنا. So if it's masculine, it's تكون. Now, حبين اسم فاعل. It's a participle. And usually when I say انت, it's انت بتكون. انت بتكون or انت بتكوني. Right? You would be. Notice here I didn't put the B. So what can you discover? What's another rule you can give me? When do we drop the B? So we know now we drop the B after a verb. We drop the B with rah. With, we drop the B with lazim. We drop the B with la or ta, which means in order to. And now I told you we drop the B after what? Yalla, tfaddalo, tell me. Oh my God, I saw now all the remove the B, remove the B <laughs> messages in one go. Shu, when do we drop the B? Guys, yalla, tell me. So, kinna hebin is what? Isim shu. Well, in English, you can say it's called da da da, a par something, or bil arabi shu. Shu men ul. Yalla, rah antur, I will wait. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have to sing this song. So wake me up when it's all over. Can? Um, after can? Uh, but here, no, it's not the past. In this particular example, it's after a participle or ism fa'al. Yes, after a verb, huriya. Yes, we said it. After lazim. Yes. Uh, after la or ta, as I said it, uh, uh, with rah. And now, remember another rule. Yalla, write it down. Write the rule. So I gave you five rules about dropping the ba so far. Yeah, these are gems. Okay. So uh, after a participle, a participle, or in Arabic, we say the name "habin." So when we add the name of the noun after the participle, shilu the ba, remove the ba. Okay, so كنا حبينك مش بتكوني معنا كنا حبينك تكوني معنا. Okay, أو كنا حبينك تكون معنا. In any case, if you're a beginner, memorize phrases which are nice. If you're a bit advanced and you've done my general two course, it's a great opportunity to refresh why we drop the B. Okay, so. If somebody next time rejects your invitation, you can say, Ya Allah, kinna habinak tkun ma'ana, if it's a guy. And if it's a woman, you can say, kinna habinik tkun ma'ana. And by the way, notice how, why did I say kinna habin? If, like, we would have liked you. Even if you're just one person, you want to say, I would have liked you to be with us, you can say, kinna habinak or kinna habinik tkun ma'ana. Yeah, yani you're saying, you're using the we instead of the I. I feel that when we use the we, it makes it less personal. Yani we would have liked you. Yani you're including the whole group to make it a bit more formal or less personal. Yani a bit. Yani it's not like black and white. Okay, here. So yalla, kinna habinik tkuna maana. Yalla, basita. Yalla, yani you know, yalla has a lot of meanings. You can throw it anywhere and everywhere in Arabic. But here it means like, okay, whatever. Yalla, basita. Basit or basita as an adjective, يعني شو simple, literally simple. But when you say basita, it's okay. خيرا بغيرا. I'm gonna explain basita. By the way, I just wanna say, make a comment. Okay, let me finish the sentence and I will make the comment. يلا basita. Basita يعني simple. But here I'm saying it's okay. يعني what can I do in that sense? Okay, basita. It's alright. It's okay. It's fine. What can I do? Basita. Okay, I'm going to explain to you in a second why we also use basita in another way. Yalla, basita, that's fine. Khayra, bghayra, yalla, memorize it. Khayra, bghayra. 
خير بغير خير يعني goodness خير أو خير خير we pronounce it more on its own but when you're saying خير in this expression you're pronouncing خير خير بغير خير يعني goodness خير you're literally saying her goodness or its goodness memorize it as its goodness بغير غير يعني another بغير or بغير you can put a skun on the bay or a kasra under the bay you can pronounce it خير بغير but I pronounce it faster خير ب خير بغير يلا say it out loud مني so you can memorize it خير بغير you're saying another one its goodness is in another one خلاص يعني this is too much details to get into you just memorize it خيرة بغيرة as a as a phrase you can throw it to someone to say it's fine it can happen another time we will do it another time it didn't happen this time next time we get lucky basically next time lucky or something like that okay يلا معلي or بسيطة معلي it's okay or بسيطة it's simple literally which means it's fine خيرة بغيرة okay so يلا let's read this repeat the sentence هي كنا حابينك تكوني معنا يلا بسيطة خيرة بغيرة Now sometimes people ask me Okay what level is this? One passage The same passage Can be used in the beginners In the general one In the general two In the general three courses It's not about what is that I'm no, What is it exactly that I'm going, it, giving It's about the details that we go into The speeds uh, How fast we go How, fa- how slow we go uh, what are the details, the grammatical details that I talk about? Yani if I'm talking to my beginner students, I'm not going to tell them, oh, here, here's the participle, here is this, here is that. You know? Uh, and I will go much slower. But here, I can say it's something that uh, was meant to be a beginner's lesson, but we went into details that are quite uh, advanced in the level for this knowledge you should have the background of you know at least general one course okay or general two course okay this is just to answer some people's questions yani what level is this okay uh, what changes in the courses uh, is the, and you will see in the plans that I sent to you today we will do this you will read like day one I will do this day one I will day two I will do this day three I know how I will do this okay so it's very structured and very clear what you will learn on those days يلا let's continue so يلا بسيطة خيرة بغيرة now I'm gonna go back to بسيطة I like to open this page I feel like I'm looking at you directly and your comments uh, when you say بسيطة as I said it means literally just simple it means simple but look at the tone of my voice and how the meaning will change now in this context the person was like not so impressed Ugh, okay fine you're not gonna come to the uh, dinner so she said mm, okay بسيطة that's okay that's alright okay but if I say to you now, look how my voice changes. Basita! Like, meh! I can even say meh, that's fine. Basita! Basita is a way to say that's fine. Yani, don't make a big deal. Yani, I'm showing you that I'm carefree or a bit nonchalant as well. Yani. I'm carefree, it's fine, it's not a big deal. Yani. Okay, basita! I'm elongating it. Or basita! You know, from the tone of my voice, you can understand. But if I say, yalla ma'ali basita! You see? I am not that impressed. Or uh, it's fine. Yeah, I would have preferred otherwise. Okay? Masalan, for example, if this uh, you're in my home, you drop this bottle and it's on the floor and it's all water. I'm not going to tell you, Yalla, basita. You will feel bad. You know, I'm telling you, I'm not happy with what you did, but it's okay. But if I tell you, Mneeh, basita. You know, and with this gesture sometimes with my hand, it's a way to say, it's fine, don't worry. You know, it's not a big deal. Okay? I can't see the below comments. I don't know why. Uh, I will check them later on. Yalla, let's go back. Got the basita. Okay. Yalla. And uh, we said khayra bghayra. Yani yalla, we can do it another time. And the other person says, Eh, akid. Yes, of course. Eh, akid. You know, eh and naam are the same. You know, one is yeah, eh, and naam is yes. Eh, akid. Of course. Barke nilte'e. جمعة الجي بركة يعني يمكن نفس الشيء I think this one is related to Turkish maybe we took the word belkim in Turkish and it became بركة not sure in Lebanese Arabic we use it a lot بركة أو يمكن maybe نفس الكلمة okay يعني يمكن maybe بركة أو يمكن منلتقي 
بركي منلتقي منلتقي يعني ويميت منلتقي ويميت جمعة الجاية جمعة الجاية next week بركي منلتقي جمعة الجاية I say sometimes جمعة الجاية أو sometimes جمعة الجاية yeah with the a in the end both are okay so بركي منلتقي جمعة الجاية uh, if you you have two ways of saying next week by the way if you uh, okay I don't usually use أسبوع أوكي okay. أسبوع بالفسحة بيقولوا أسبوع وباللبنان بيقولوا أسبوع كمان بس منقول أكتر جمعة for week um, I don't know if in my community we use it more on, or in other communities more not sure maybe 50 let's say 50-50 okay just to بس I use جمعة for Friday and جمعة for week I don't usually use أسبوع in the Lebanese dialect okay personally but of course there is a lot of people in Lebanon who use أسبوع Now, <clears throat> when it comes to the جمعة الجاي, you have two ways of saying next week. You say either without L, جمعة, you pronounce the T مربوطة. جمعة الجاي, you have to pronounce the T مربوطة when you don't put the L. Or if you put the L, you're saying الجمعة, without pronouncing the T مربوطة, الجمعة الجاي. يلا, say with me. جمعة الجاي, أو الجمعة الجاية Again جمعة الجاية أو الجمعة الجاية الجمعة الجاية I should do a, I should do a tongue twister on this okay? So جمعة الجاية أو الجمعة الجاية Without pronouncing the تيمار بوتا ما منلفز التيمار بوتا okay? يلا إيه أكيد بركي منلتقي جمعة الجاية بحكيكي بحكي I speak بحكيكي I speak to you I talk to you, I'll talk to you, يعني I'll call you in a way as well, okay? بحكيكي أصلا بكرة بس خلص شغل أصلا literally يعني originally or in the first place it comes from the word أصل يعني origin أصلا يعني originally but has nothing to do in, the, in originally with originally in this context بهيدا السياق سياق يعني context بهيدا السياق بنفهم إنه أصلا يعني Uh, anyways, anyways, بحكيكي أصلا I'll, co- I'll call you anyways or I'll talk to you anyways بحكيكي أصلا anyways بكرة tomorrow بس خلص شغل when I finish work شغل يعني work بس يعني when or whenever it's not the question word when it's like when I finish or whenever I finish work بس خلص شغل okay يلا here's the same thing Why did I not say bus mm, and not something else? Hmm? What did we do here? Usually, when you conjugate in the present, I finish, you finish, he finishes. There must be something there. What did I do? And what did I remove? And why did I remove it? Can you tell me, Yalla, today's main rule? Hmm? Shu, who's going to tell me? Hmm? Why can I not see all the comments here? Oh, I have to maybe. Shoo, sure, guys, who's gonna tell me? I'm gonna wait. What did I do? So wake me up when it's all over. <laughs> Shoo, sure, wake me up when you give me the answer. Yes, please do maybe some videos of words that sound the same and are different. Okay, so yalla, what's the end? What am I waiting for you to say? You removed the be. Yes, good. We removed the be. Remember, yalla, memorize. After the word bas, hmm? you remove the be. Bas khalis. Okay? And just to give you another tip, bas and lamma uh, are synonyms. Bas muradif la lamma. Muradif yani synonym. Bas and lamma. Both have the same meaning, يعني uh, when I finish work. بس خلص شغل لما خلص شغل نفس المعنى. So after these two words, you have to drop the ب. بس خلص شغل لما خلص شغل. And actually, there is a third word that has the same meaning, which is وقت خلص شغل when I finish work. Okay, so memorize these three words. بس لما وقت. The three of them mean when, but not the question word when. The when of in a sentence, like when I go, when I see you, whenever I see you, like that, okay? 
بس خلي الشغل وانا وانا فينيش ورك فيني اقول بس بخلي الشغل لا غلط لازم شيل البي اوكي وي هاف تو ريموف ذا بي سو بحكيكي اصلا بكره بس خلي الشغل I'll speak to you anyways tomorrow when I finish work اوكي يمكن إذا خلصت بكير يمكن يعني maybe إذا خلصت بكير if I finished early بكير يعني early خلصت يعني I finished إذا يعني if يمكن إذا خلصت بكير maybe if I finished early بمرق عليكن يلا memorize بمرق عليكن أو بمرق عليك if I'm saying it just to a guy بمرق عليك if I'm saying it to a girl يلا memorize them I will say them بمرق عليك بمرق عليك بمرق عليكن اوكي سو بمرق يعني I pass عليك on you <laughs> it's not like you're gonna pass on the person and smash them it's like I pass by اوكي okay? I'll pass by you بمرق عليك I'll pass by you masculine بمرق عليك I'll pass by you feminine بمرق عليكن I'll pass by you plural so if I finish early I'll pass by يمكن إذا خلصت بكير if I finished early بمرق عليكن I pass by you طيب طيب يعني okay alright it doesn't mean tasty in another context the same word طيب يعني tasty طيب يلا باي alright باي <laughs> okay يلا باي اوكي شو اذا حدا عنده سؤال يلا اكتبوا هلا بالكومنت بوكس if you have any questions right now in the comment comment box by the time i reread it so because youtube takes a second to write to show the comments okay so i'm gonna reread it meanwhile if you have questions write them in the comment box وقولوا معي على صوت عالي قولوا معي على صوت عالي يعني uh, say with me out loud okay i'll read not too fast not too slow normal يلا ما راح اقدر او اقدر نفس الشيء اوكي ما رح اقدر اجي اتغدى عندك او عنديك بكره عم تلفن ليك لاقول لك انه ما رح اقدر اجي اتغدى عندك بكره ليش جد علي شيء كتير ضروري بالشغل بقى لازم انزل بكره الصبح بكير على المكتب لحل المشكله يي كنا حابينك تكوني معنا يلا بسيطة خيرة بغيرة ايه اكيد بركي منلتقي جمعة الجاي بحكيكي اصلا بكرة بس خلي الشغل يمكن اذا خلصت بكير بمرق عليكن طيب يلا باي اوكي okay guys you know what what you can do is يعني when I finish this live I will post it as a video. You can go back and watch it, of course, review. And if you have questions, you can uh, leave them in the comment box. Or tell me what you learned. What's the most sentence you liked? Li- liked leave it in the comment box when you're re-watching this. And also, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, you, can re- you can grab your phone, quickly re- record my voice, reading the conversation, the dialogue in the end. You know, so that when you're doing something else, uh, you can uh, listen to it. Okay? يلا before I go I'm just gonna remind whoever is new on the channel I do 30 day challenge courses um, there are pre-recorded courses and uh, 30 day challenge courses live on zoom the next one will start on February, February 15 and finishes March 16 so in- if you're interested in joining a live lesson with me and with another nice group of people get in touch if, if I'm opening your level of course uh you can do it with us if not you can do it on your own uh, as a pre-recorded lesson and don't worry when you do pre-recorded lessons you get the same benefits actually much more because you have lifetime access to them live lessons don't don't have lifetime access to them you get tons of pdf files and audio material to use on your own and the notes that we do in class we write i write them and i record them and i send them to you with my voice so it's a very nice package very intensive but also flexible if you need to do it in your own time during the day and do a 30 day challenge every day uh, and also as i said it has a lot of structure one point leads to another a leads to b b leads to c and like that um what else did i want to say something important 
uh, okay and notice here on youtube i'm trying to upload like fun lessons but i'm also trying to keep it as well like sometimes do intensive lessons if you want more like short quick lessons literally 15 20 seconds one minute lessons go to my tiktok it's really fun to watch the lessons there like yani, a different uh, approach to learning yani, much more fun than my youtube channel as well okay so uh, if you have any questions yeah like get in touch let me see whoever has a question now here going to let me check very very quickly whoever has a question uh, after that okay go so the hell going to solve that just after the end of that huh. okay then not where bad what was the question i'm sorry can you do a video with words that sound the same but have different meanings yes zane you and for that reason you should go to my tiktok i sometimes do lessons like that on my tiktok okay thank you so 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 much for watching i hope you enjoyed it thank you zen for watching for, for watching this them i'm happy you like it and yalla 